This might be kind of fun. I mean, we got excited last night. You don't become fans, but you become fans of this matchup. It could be the best pitching matchup we've ever seen in Omaha. For Paul Skeens, he's the best collegiate pitcher I've ever seen. Three strikeouts to break Ben McDonald's LSU record and the SEC record for single season strikeouts. For Rhett Lauder, they don't lose when he's out there. 18 and 0 this year for the guy that will be a first rounder himself. First rounder against first rounder and two of the best in the country. Decent evening, gentlemen. Yep. Skis fastball oh, on the oh, corner, oh, his oh, hardest oh. one of the night. He went over 100 to 101, a 1 2 3 inning. And now it's Rhett Lauder's turn to take the bump. Get it inside black and let it run off. It's tough for him to get to. 1 2 and oh. that little slow slider at 87 to strike him out. With two seasons short, Justin Johnson at second. Jack Winne is at first. And this one is caught by Winne. He went up just like Nick Kurtz does and steps on first. Spider Man Jr. over there at first. How about that? I, you know, losing Kurtz, he's put on a show for us this week defensively. These are the kind of balls you wonder if Winne is going to be able to make the play. How about the range and the athleticism? Leave the ground, young fella. It is NBA draft night. Yes, I right? climb the ladder. There was literally no doubt that Schemes was going to start today because Jay Johnson put, had a meeting on Monday after the loss and they drew it out on the whiteboard. He said Tuesday, put down pitchers from the bullpen. Wednesday, pitchers from the bullpen. Thursday, put get the barrel to the front of the zone quickly. And then that happens. But you got to live with something, right? You can't take it all away. You got to be prepared for the heater. You're probably not going to deal with the changeup when he throws it this well anyway, can he? No, I mean, this, he just wins right here. Yeah. That's it. If he's got this one and you combine it with the other one, he wins. If he throws it in that spot right there, that was the difference. That's it. The new SEC single season record. Through two innings, he picks up three strikeouts. His coach at Air Force probably could have seen this one coming. 203 and counting for the great Paul Skeens. Men's College World Series. This is arguably the biggest non-finals game that they've ever seen in Omaha, given the names of the guys on the mound, given the number one overall seed, and certainly the idea that the winner moves into the championship series against the Florida Gators. How does having him out there change the mentality of your dugout? We play with a ton of confidence all the time, but it's triple when he's on the mound. He's just a special guy, and he's bought into the team. So on top of being the best pitcher in the country, it's real easy for these guys to get behind him. Thank you, Jay. Who's left? Oh, good. We really liked him, too. <laughs> we'll take him. Yes. You're with us. One, two. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. okay, and that's another yep. strikeout. We heard Trey Morgan last night calling the balls out when they yeah. were coming in. This one, uh, this one kind of surprised him. You said two seamer moving away from the left hander, and that is locking somebody up right there. Glove side, stick it there. Starts, starts just off the plate, comes all the way back. Second strike out of the night for Red Louder, including a homer, and he's got four RBI. Ooh, that's a nasty two seamer, isn't that? 95, unhittable pitch for a lefty. How about an 89 mile an hour change it? We saw a slider, two seamer, change piece. He's got decent stuff, Rev. This is kind of fun. Burke's uncomfortable, and that's what I like. Watching guys <laughs> just deal like this on both sides. Skeen's up to 100. Louder showing he can get it done a lot of different ways. 95 on the fastball, 89 on the change. We are scoreless through four. Capital One, join with Tom Walter. Knowing you have to win today, but there is a series ahead. How did the conversation go to give Rhett the ball today? Well, he wanted the ball. There was nothing we could say or do that was going to keep him from pitching today. And he's our guy. Kind of figured that was the answer. What's the game plan against Paul Skeens? How hard well, is that? We just got a battle. You know, we've had we've gotten into some good counts and, and taken some good swings. He's obviously really good. We just got to keep fighting, try to run his pitch count up. Guys, he throws a hundred, but watch location on his fastballs. I mean, early it was dot, dot. It's not just arm side. He was doing a glove side too, and then comes back off speed. And this is a difference maker. The change up, and throwing a ton, and then the slider has got plenty of swing and miss. It is everything you would want to see out of a college arm. A little added confidence, especially with the conditions. Two, two, great pitch, another strikeout. That's his fourth, and he now holds the single season record at Wake Forest.
Pretty decent week for Mr. Ladder. Goes back to the slider right here. So he's got two different off speed pitches. He'll throw to lefties. We th saw the changeup just before that. It's right over the top of that slider. Four strike out of the day for Rhett Lauder. A single season all time leader at Wake Forest. Interesting take. 0 2. Yep. Yes, sir. Ah! KB. Yeah, part of what Paul Skeens does is for every strikeout, he donates money to Folds of Honor. And after the game the other night, it became such an attention that $10,000 from fans all around the country donated so good. to that Folds of Honor. His goal was to reach $20,000 by the end of the year. He's now at $24,000 because of everyone watching. That's a tremendous story. As Tommy Hawk looks at the slider in there for a strike. You can just tell that the kind of human being Paul Skeens is. He's going to make a, a difference in a lot of people's lives. Oh, that did not miss by much to Tommy Hawk. But three straight sliders. Backdoor breaking balls, like the, the command of a, a flamethrower, a 21-year-old flamethrower, it's just remarkable. One and two to Hawk. Yep, he chases. That's back-to-back -back strikeouts, and that is filthy. This is and his pitching coach at Air Force had a big hand in how this guy's developed, and man, has he developed. And he has had a tremendous World Series, and oh, it's snared by the third baseman, Brock Wilkin. <laughs> Last night, Hawk hit one that White snared at third. Tonight, Wilkins snares a shot off the bat of Morgan, and it stays 0-0. 2-2, zero, zero. Two, two, Skeens, good pitch there, a slider at 87 miles an hour. That's seven strikeouts for Paul Skeens. Kind of had to use everything that bat against Wilkin. Fastball's early, then he comes back with this one. Slider. Yep. Oh, thanks for playing 99. Two more punch outs for Paul Skeens. He's got eight. This is Paul's playground tonight. And Rhett Lauder's trying to get on a swing, too. It's been pretty impressive. Stretch him in Omaha. And they just keep on going. Skeens with another strikeout. Tommy Tanks enjoys it. Still scoreless. Blowing it by hitters. Lauder and Skeens. Pitching matchup that we talked about coming in has absolutely delivered between them. 12 strikeouts and just one walk. And this one is to shallow right. Bennett come in, sliding and making a great play. What a play in right field. One, two. Yes, sir. And some cheese at 95 as he elevated. We saw it against Peloso. And there you see the effectiveness against Jobert. There was again. I mean, you go off speed to get to this point and, and louder. Two seam movement on this thing too, man. It just takes off. I mean, he got a bunch of ground balls early, but still has the ability, if he wants to, still it's, has the ability to climb the ladder, and he does it right there. It's in there. Yeah. The six foot two right hander delivers again, and he picks up another strikeout. And he is very excited. We talked about it being an instant classic before the game, and it has done nothing, nothing to disappoint. Louder six punch outs. Skeens rolling along. We got zeros on the board. Something's going to happen at some point. But right now, it's all about the arms. Paul Skeens can really field his position. Here it is. There it is. The push. It is fielded. Here's the play at home. How good is the that? tag is made. How good and is it is that? called Trey Morgan. He came charging like a train and didn't hold it for a second. And they nailed. Johnson at the plate. Berkey, there is not a more athletic first baseman in the entire country. Got to believe, right? This is Skeen's this is last gonna, inning, yep. right? Yep. We're seeing his last pitches right here. It's how much is left in the tank. That one is in the left. Will it stay up? Yes, it does. <laughs> Pearson was positioned beautifully. Tip of the cap, standing ovation. Paul Skeens, perhaps for the final time, coming off the mound as a college pitcher.